V, you never learn, do you? Oh, is it chat time? Oh, come on, hit me with those pearls of wit. Nice talking to you. Hey, Kirk. Been a while. V? Holy shit, barely recognize you. I see you haven't changed. Not a single bit. Huh, well, you know me? I'm old-fashioned like that. Slow and steady wins the race, huh? Nice of you to drop by. After our call, well, thought that was the last I'd hear from you. Get to the point. So come on, sit down. I'll spill you the deets. Start talking. All right, all right. Listen, job's simple. Got a van standing not far from here, brimming with merch worth fat digits. Driving to the border tomorrow, but a lot of things could happen before then. Feel me? Specifics, Kirk. What's in the van? Militech implants. Experimental series. Shit you can't get on the street. Straight out of some lab in Shanghai. And who does it belong to? Jesus, V. Who the fuck cares? Once we take it, it's ours. So, can I count on you or not? Sounds too good to be true. Oh, fuck it. It's worth a shot, at least. Count me in. Oh, it's true, all right. Anyways, send you the cohorts. See you at the spot. Later. Hey, back off. Ain't door biz here. You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Chum, fuck off! Or I implant my blade in your ribs! Really? I wonder what Mama Wells would say. What she'd do when she sees you two gonks fucking up her joint. My bet she'd whip out a shotgun, blast your heads off. Hey, come on, baby. Not worth it. Don't work out. Yo, fuck you! Carajo! Fucking punk! Oh, what? What just happened? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? Because you look like you got some heads on you. I see. Nothing for free. Not in this goddamn city. Not in this goddamn life. Here, all I got. The rest... Bartender got the rest. Circling him like sharks on the scent of fresh corpo blood. Could have ended badly if you hadn't stepped in, me. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. How about we drink to you, then? On the house. Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? You could say that again. I'm on a double. A break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten years married, you know? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Based on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, Ren. Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Good lady did away at me. Or, I could get someone like you. Ain't no more than an evening's work. I'm sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night, she wasn't even there. Size that? Well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there is a way around every test now. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife. 
follow around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby. I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smokes like I got them tire fire. Like at this city. Well, but today, she was wearing a pink jacket. And, uh, hmm. She had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Why you wanna know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one, answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife. Breaking up a happy marriage. Okay, fine, I'm in. You're my hero, V. Means a lot to me. CD Bar's betrayal of the guiling woman sounds like something out of a pulpy noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. It was the same old story. An unfaithful wife in a city where everything was uncertain. I arrived on the scene looking for the woman in the pink jacket. The woman with a sordid past. Stop right there. It was her, the lady in pink, breaker of hearts, framed by a halo of cigarette smoke. I followed her. Dreaming of the day, the narrator put a fucking plug in it. Got too close. Almost scared the dame off. Better be careful. I know, I know. Too close. Again. Something just drew me to her. Like one magnet to another. Ugh, stop. around. Something weighed on her. Maybe it was my gaze. Keep this up. I'm a fucking puke. Narrate that. is a bum. Gives him a wide berth. Doesn't want her clothes dirty. Her conscience is already dirty enough. Oh, seriously, wh what did I ever do to you? Disappeared into the guts of a building ready to collapse. The air hung heavy with smog and betrayal. Ugh, maybe it's a good thing I'm dying. Well, well, well. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Fuck, Cynthia. Told you to make sure nobody followed you. Husband sent me. Suspected something. What? See, he was right. 
No! It's it's not like that. I I can explain. Go on then, let's hear it. Okay, for, for one thing, he's not my input. He's my ripper. A specialist in plastic surgery. A specialist in this dump. Look, I know, I I had this little accident a few years ago. The victim, uh, well, the patient's family still can't let it go. That's why I'm forced to work here. Hold on a sec. Uh, what about your kid? Here's the thing. I... Oh. I didn't used to look like this. I had a total body sculpt. Skin, hair, eyes, everything. Except, well, you can't fool your genes. That's why our son looks different than Pepe imagined. It's not because he's not the father. Just that I... I don't look anything like the old me. But why? Why do that? And why do you think? Out of boredom? Because I was a rich, basic bitch? Everyone's got their own secret. Something they want to forget or leave behind them. I... I had a lot of them. And I can't share them with anyone. Not even my own husband. I know I should have told Pepe about all this, but... There was never a good time, and... And now that I'm expecting again, it... Oh, it... It, it wasn't... It wasn't planned. Please... Uh, tell him... Tell him that... Yes? I don't know. I don't know what to tell him myself. That, that I'm really sorry. That life's an absurdist drama, okay? Just... Just go. Hit the nail on the head with that last point. Job's done. Followed your wife. Went into some rundown pad. Man was waiting for her inside. I knew it. What else? Knew it, huh? Didn't know a thing. Didn't cheat on you. At least, not in the way you think. Huh? What way, then? She was at a ripper who's getting a scan. Her skin, hair, eyes... It's all implanted. Every single last part of her. So, my son. That's why he... Exactly. Jesus fucking Cristo. How could you keep this from me? Her own husband did fucking years. It's not about the skin or whatever. It's that she lied. How the hell am I supposed to trust her now? Okay. Yes, Cynthia was hiding something from you. Yes, she lied, but who loves you, you donk? You know how much that means in this fucking town? If I were you, I'd just live and let live, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Anyway, Max, this is for you. For your troubles. Good man, Pepe. Take care. Silence fell like a wet blanket over the city, muffling its cries. Time to rest, I thought. Time to drink. See? That's more like it. Finally making some sense.